Hello, what's your name? Uh, my name's Phil. Uh, I got the, uh, was an ad in the paper. Uh, when you guys need a model, uh, looking for a job, looking to do anything for a bit of cash. Uh, I... Quite flexible on the anything, so. I've got the perfect. I've got the perfect role for you. There's this package involved where you know you, you'll need to show me a bit more about you. Um, sure, sure. You know, I'll probably have to see you know you're in action. Um, have you ever kind of done nude stuff before? Nudes, um, over kick, kick or Instagram or Facebook? Yeah, I've done. I've done a bit of you know um, fitness modeling and stuff. So you know, I'm keen to get my gear off. Uh, let me just come over there. I'll, I'll help you take your top off. Oh. It's flexible dieting. Who the fuck is that? I'm sorry. Who are you? It's too early. Who is this? It's too early. It's, it's too, early. too early. It's too early. What, too time, early. what time is it? It's too early and I don't <laughs> have sunglasses. So I'm like... The Phil Ray's back! <laughs> He's back! Phil Ray 2.0! Hello! <laughs> I can't see! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Let's vlog it baby! Let's Iron lifestyle! Idea. Boom! Oh, we're gonna go to the ladies' room. Fuck off! <laughs> you know what? I'm not even. I don't care. All I'm looking forward to right now is having a burrito after this. <laughs> you know, yeah. So, uh, so you can sit here and be like, yeah, we can just talk shit, but let's go, guys. Let's do it. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We have to set our intentions for today. Intentions, okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do shoulders. What, uh, if we can set three intentions for this workout, so three things that we're going to walk in and we're going to concentrate on these three things. I think the first one is to, is to lift as heavy as we can with great form, right? So we're going to go heavy. Technique. Right? And have great form, great ROM. And then the second thing is, I really want to make a let's 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 make a mental note for number two to really concentrate on a really strong contraction, so we really feel the muscle tense up as we hit that peak and bring it back down. So yeah. you want to make a mental note of that. Otherwise, we're just going to do the motions. Yeah. So make a mental note. And three, um, let's make sure we break a sweat before we walk out. We want to break a sweat. Yeah. All right. So those three things. Can you Intensity. run them by me again? Intensity. The first one is we're going to lift heavy. Lift heavy, which is OHPs. Good technique, lock knees, engage the glutes, drive up. Uh, but with OHPs, you know, you can't control it too much the weight. It's a bit of a strength. Oh, and, and OHP stands for overhead press. Overhead press. And uh, But oh, the rest oh. of the movements, and you know, our dumbbell work and that, and lateral work, like Phil said, for the second, we'll find a good contraction, uh, engage the muscle and time under tension with a good kind of contraction at the peak. Third one, intensity. Some, some exercises like lateral raises and that, if we do drop sets and triple drops and that, uh, it's going to work up a sweat at a higher rate. Oh yes. So, so, we, so the goal is, let's, let's, oh, he just had a cigarette after the gym. What the fuck? I'm, post workout, smoke. Post workout burrito, guys. <coughs> yeah. No smoking. So, first one, lift heavy with great form. Lift heavy with great form. Number two, let's make a mental note to concentrate on the contraction. Squeeze it, squeeze it, feel it. Number three, we want to break a sweat. So the intensity is going to be high. So we make sure we walk out of the gym with a sweat. Because when you, I find that when you walk out of the gym with a great sweat, you know you did the right thing. As opposed to kind of not really setting your intentions, going there and kind of doing the motions, checking it, oh, how long I've been there, am I ready to go yet? Yeah. Then you walk out dry and you really didn't give 120%. Oh, fuck this guy. I'm shit. And then we're gonna I'm go shit. afterwards. We're gonna go get a. I'm shit. We're gonna go to Guzman and Gomez. In before you guys fucking unsubscribe to this. <laughs> no, 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 Guzman and Gomez. Come on, right. subscribe. I'm awesome. Subscribe. Uh, we're shit. So Let's we're gonna go get a burrito. We're most likely gonna record that as well. Um, oh, right, guys, enjoy the session. Let's go. Okay, thank you. Bye. Feel right. Hey guys, Phil Ray here with my homeboy Chris A. Had a fantastic time recording this uh, shoulder workout with him and also spent some quality time on the Iron Lifestyle casting couch. So much more regular videos to come with me featured on Iron Lifestyle. As I get into the best shape of my life, Phil Ray 2.0 is coming soon, but only on the Iron Lifestyle channel. So what I want you to do is make sure you subscribe, comment, and like. See you later. Phil Ray in the house. Hey guys, Chris A. 
We started off the delts workout with some uh, re, re delt warm ups on the cable. Uh, now we're into the OHPs. As you can see, fuck, this is like a manlet cage. Uh, I, I couldn't extend all the way up. I had to kind of work outside the cage. All right, uh, I found this a bit weird because I had to kind of like deadlift, clean and jerk the movement uh, to get it up. So, you know, I wasn't pressing as heavy as I would have liked. Uh, but it's okay, you know, it was a good workout, it was a good press. It was good to kind of finally get a session in with Phil uh, with OHPs and that. Uh, it, it's pretty strong. Uh, it's like manlet power, manlet strength uh, for OHPs. Just going through the warm ups here, like not too many reps. He's about 60 kilos here or so, uh, and just still, still warm me up. Until we get into like the heavier sets. Let's see, guys, uh, a few tips about OHPs, overhead press. Keep your knees locked. Knees locked, glutes flexed. It's just primarily there to test out your delt strength, uh, not to get momentum into it or anything like that. Here's 70 kilos. Down on the fifth. Good technique. As you see, Phil's legs are straight. His knees are locked. He's not bouncing at the bottom. When you fail, you fail. That's your maximum. Again, that's 70 kilos here. Again, uh, I probably for OHPs at the moment, I'm doing like a five by fives. Obviously, you know, I'm failing here. You know what? This is my third. I, I failed at four. Yeah, at four. I'm just finding like the deadlift and the snatch. It's just, it's, it's tiring me out. Uh, yeah, I'm generally like on the 70 kilos, I'll be doing five by fives. He's really pulling 70s, uh, and in my opinion, pretty easy actually. Uh, look at him, he's three, four, come on. And to sit there from a dead weight and pull the fifth one again, uh, yeah, it's pretty damn good. I, I personally think he can pull probably about 80s for a couple, which is you know pretty strong for a guy that you know hasn't been doing OHPs for too long. So it shows you, you know, just uh, he's just a, a strong boy, strong delts. There's doing so much more footage with Phil and me. Uh, Phil's going through, as he says, Phil Ray 2.0 is back. So he's into it hard. He's you know he's motivating me. He's pushing me hard. As you can see here, my wrists should be a bit wider. I've got them a bit tight, and I could feel it. It's really killing me. Uh, uh, not not like joint wise, but just pressing it. It's it's really hard. I should have my wrists a bit wider. I was just finding that if I when I was deadlifting the weight off the ground. I had to keep him closer because, you know, deadlifting, I don't hold it too wide. So, uh, you know, from my starting position, it was awkward. So, he's just all facials. 70s again, just pulling him. Come on. And see how feels, you know, his wrists are, you know, about elbow. Elbow width. Slightly outside elbow width, if you like, is fine as well. As you see, look at me here. Now I'm moving, I'm shuffling my hands a bit wider because I knew from the previous set it just didn't feel right. Again, still, I'm still tired. I, it's just my starting position at the bottom you know, as a deadlift, uh, just you know, from habit, I never have them too wide. They're right near my shins, beside my shins. So, yeah, just uh, not working in the rack was really annoying today. But you just gotta just you know, do what, do what you have. That's it, just head back, head forward. Also the bar path, make sure the bar path is running just, you know, uh, just through your midfoot, up and down. Now second exercise, uh, third exercise, uh, you know, we move to lateral raises. Uh, I, I work my lateral raises in my subscapular plane, so my elbows are a little bit forward and just throwing the dumbbells forward. Well, not throwing, just working them forward, as you can see here. 
just working through the elbows, you know, that's where I'm, dri I'm driving through the elbows and getting a good burn through the delts and working in my mid scapular plane. The reason why I work this, I find that it's, uh, you can go a little bit heavier than doing, you know, laterals and uh, I'll do laterals later on in the, in, the, in the session where I use the cables with straighter, straighter form. Okay, onto some dumbbell press now, by this stage, you know, we've pressed heavy, 5 HPs. We've lateral raised about 5 sets, drop set wise, and uh, now dumbbell press. So obviously we can't go as here. I think we start off about 34s, uh, and we worked it up to about, I think, 40s. Rep range, no, 8, 8 or so, 8 is fine, Fowler 8. Just want to say, I had a good time with Phil. We, you know, we we mates for a while now, but just haven't got many sessions in together. You know, it's funny how we're mates, we text, we call, we always catch up. Uh, but you know, uh, it's at a good stage now. He's in a good headspace. He's, uh, he's like, I can see that, that, you know, just see the look in his, in his, in his eyes, his face. He's just, you know, he's, he's into it. He's, he's enjoying himself again. The important thing is enjoying it. Give him six months, man. In summer, uh, he's gonna look incredible. Macros are decent. We're working his macros up, you know. Uh, not not revert, strict reversing out. Just you know, slowly, slowly every week, keeping an eye on his weight and just reversing his macros up. Uh, generally, just carbohydrates. You know, his proteins at one gram per you know per pound uh, body weight. Uh, fats at a you know normal level and um, not too high and carbs, let's get the carbs up. So when we start cutting uh, in probably three, four months, uh, the decline starts with gradual decrease of carbohydrates. <music> on to the next exercise now, and now after the dumbbell press, we're on to just uh, rears, rears. I work my rears a lot, because you know, I find this probably, you know, for everyone, it's the most slowest developing area of the delt. Some face pulls now. Last time I saw Phil do his face pulls was with uh, his late friend, uh, Az, uh, Ziz. Uh, I saw them in a video on YouTube a while ago and they were doing it together. So that brought back a few memories. And now to the lateral raises on the cable, straighter hand. That's why I work in my mid scapula for the dumbbells and for this one a bit straighter. The, the way I like to structure my delts workout is like a, a press, a fly, a re. You know, just a bit like that. Giving giving an area a bit of rest to work another area. Like I said, I, I like working my re's a lot. Who doesn't like JT? Theory. By this stage, feels wrecked. Like, uh, you know, the session went for a good 90 minutes. Uh, this is the last one now. You know, this to work the fast twitching muscle fibers and switch it up a little bit instead of pressing up and down. It's resetting at the bottom. Like, just taking the load off the shoulders and bang, pulling them nice and fast. Super set with these flies, uh, uh, lateral raises again with, with our plates. And that was it. Four sets of that towards the end. And again, guys, this is like a—it's changing up the activation of muscle fibers. And I like to throw this in at the end, which is a bit different to normal pressing. It's just a reset, reset and drive. Get the load off the shoulders totally, and then pull it. About eight reps for this. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget subscribe to the channel. So much more to come from Phil Ray and me, Chris A. Checking out Phil Ray in the house. This here, guys. This pants here that um, Chris has on. This is the. Um, the uh, shredded pants on a cut pants, um, whereas my pants are the um, triple X extra large on a bulk. These are the bulk pants when you're bulking, crotch is nice and low. Um, 
Yeah, man. I'm pretty sure my sister has the exact same track pants as that. Okay, so what's, what is it? Um, Easter Friday? Is that what they call it? Uh, yeah, uh, Good Friday. It's Good Friday. So, um, you know, we're, we're, we're indulging. We're indulging in a little, you know, something, something. We had a burrito. We had a great workout. Now we're having um, some frozen yogurt.